This is a Scadapsis. There's really nothing remarkable about this plant right now. It's in a terracotta pot that's three and a half inches. It's clearly struggling. We have some leaf burn that's occurring on this leaf as well as this leaf. We have another leaf that has kind of half rotten off. We have a new leaf that's forming, which is good. The soil medium really isn't amazing right now. Uh, it looks like that it's very compacted. I bring this up because there's the question of whether or not plants such as these, or really any plants really, can be sized up in a pot that's much larger or whether or not you should slowly size the plant up over time as the root ball gets bigger and bigger. Well, really, you can go ahead and put the plant in its final pot. And I'm here to prove it with this experiment. Usually the reason why people say that you should slowly size up with your pot size is because it allows you more moisture control. The more roots that the plant takes up within a pot, the harder it becomes to overwater. But there are also some other contributing factors to that as well. Are you using a ceramic pot or a terracotta pot or another pot altogether? Take a terracotta for instance. It's extremely porous. This means that there is a lot of breathability in the pot and that your soil will tend to dry out more quickly than if you were to use a ceramic where the breathability really isn't there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Scadapsis here and I'm gonna put it in this six inch terracotta pot here. Six inches. I'm going to give it a refresh in the soil medium. So I'm gonna use a 50-50 pyrolite uh, potting soil mixture. And I am going to take you along in the journey I'm going to provide you with weekly updates with how the synopsis is doing and to really show that you can, in fact, put your plant in its final pot without sizing up slowly over time. So what are the advantages of just going ahead and putting your plant in the final pot as opposed to slowly sizing up over time? Well, there are a couple. First, let's think about the financial component of it. When you slowly size up in pots, that means that you will need to have more pots in your collection and once you size up, if you are a plant parent with only one or two plants, the other pots are basically waste. So why do that? Why not just go ahead and put your plant in the final resting spot? The other advantage of placing your plant in the final pot is that the plant will experience less disturbances. There are some plants that are more sensitive to others when it comes to this. Some plants really don't like to have their roots really fussed with and if they are fussed with, depending on how delicate the root system is, it can lead to root shock and it's very stressful for your plant as it is going through or trying to recover from root shock. So again, I really think that these two things should be considered when determining whether or not you should gradually size up in pots or if you should go ahead and put your plant that's in a smaller pot in its final pot. So here's my soil medium here. This is a 50-50 pyrolite potting soil mixture. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up in my six inch pot and we're gonna go from there. So here's my setup. Here I have my potting mixture. So this right here is potting soil that's mixed in with Purolite. So it's a 50-50 mixture and this allows for a very chunky mix that is able to retain just the right amount of moisture that we want for these type of plants. We don't want the plants to retain too much moisture because if that happens, then your plant will be susceptible for root rot, especially since we're putting it in a much larger pot. But we also want it to retain just enough moisture to where we're still able to feed those roots. Here I have my Scadapsis in the three and a half inch terracotta pot. Here's my six inch terracotta pot that I am going to place the Scadapsis in. And then finally I have my tray and water. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my terracotta on my tray. That way, when I put my potting mix in, if there's any that comes out of the bottom, I'm not gonna make too big of a mess. From here, I'm gonna put in my first bit of potting mix. It's okay if we make a little bit of mess. Okay. 
So we're about halfway full right now. Now I'm gonna take some more of my potting mix, fill it up a little bit further. Okay. Now I'm going to take this condapsis and I'm going to pop it out of its three and a half inch terracotta. Okay. So if you can see from the root system, there are roots, which is great, but this root ball is way smaller than what people will recommend putting in a six inch pot. But again, I'm gonna show you that this is possible. And in fact, your plants might actually appreciate it. So I'm gonna form a hole uh, with my hands and I'm gonna just place this plant to where the crown is just below where the crown is just below the soil level. And then I'm gonna make sure that my roots are facing down as opposed to up because I want the roots to go deep into this root ball. And then I'm gonna cover it up a little bit. So we can stand to put more potting mix in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more in here. Fill it up a little bit more. And now here's the trick. We have a little bit of water here. It's not filled all the way up to the top. It's just probably about half a cup of water. When it comes to watering plants like this, where the root ball is so much smaller than what the pot actually is, we want to hold off on watering too deeply. And the reason is because if you were to water this entire six inch pot extremely deeply, all of a sudden you're going to have all of this moisture where the roots aren't contacting and it's just going to sit and that moisture is going to have a potential detrimental impact on the root and can potentially cause root rot so what i'm going to do is instead of watering all around the rim of this skindapsis i'm just going to pour the water concentrate it in the middle of the pot Okay. And now I'm going to just compact some of the soil or potting mix further down. And there we have it. The skinapsis is now in a six inch terracotta pot. All right, so I've successfully potted this in a six inch pot. I'm gonna give you weekly updates just so I can show you that this plant is gonna to continue to thrive and isn't really going to suffer from any kind of negative effects of being in this larger pot. If you like this type of content, please be sure to give my video a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna follow along in the journey of how this skindapsis that was put in a three and a half inch terracotta pot is doing in a six inch pot without being gradually raised through pot sizes. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.